Good afternoon, Save the Nations. This is Pastor Ken. I'm here in Israel. And while we were on our journey, this this trip, which was just so God-kissed, we happened by chance, but I don't believe in chance. It's a God coincidence. Um, we met Pastor Paul and uh, Bishop Boris. We just met, which is Pastor uh, Pastor Paul's father. Yeah. And they are from Russia originally. And they have come to make Aliyah in Israel. And I just want to let Pastor uh, Bishop Boris um, just share a little bit about his journey and what God has done in his heart um, for Israel and um, share with you back home. So hopefully you'll have a love for Israel like he does and we all do. Yeah. My name is Boris Cohen. Uh, yeah, Papa, I and I'm a father of this guy. <laughs> I, I get saved in 1991 in the Soviet Union. And in 1998, I was sent as a missionary to Russia from Ukraine. The, the theme of Israel was not present in my life ever. I was never interested in the streets where Jesus walked 2,000 years ago. Because I was found by Jesus on the streets of Kharkov, Ukraine. And I was always interested in the streets where Jesus is walking now. <laughs> but in the year 2000, God just gave us a vision. Where God showed us a war. What we will do during that war. That we are saving people from a burning houses. And that God put us to Israel in that vision. 24 years ago. And for me it was so strange. In the year 2000, we was first time, uh, like, the theme of Israel started to be in our lives for the first time. Because there was a people that helped Jewish people to make Aliyah to Israel from Russia. And I was not touched by it at all. They started to tell me that, do you, uh, like, why you are not interested in uh, just one time to go and see, like, the Israel. And I told them every time that it's not interesting for me. Even if we have a lot of uh, people that are relatives, like they live here in Israel, I always knew that my colony is for Russia. And only in 2007, uh, I came for the first time to Israel. Just to see, as a tourist. But God started to speak to me here. And he told me very seriously. Uh, I was not uh, impacted by uh, Israel of the past, like Israel Museum. Mm -hmm. I've met some people, some Orthodox Jews here. And one of them, he was a rabbi. Mm -hmm. And when we talked with him, he told me, you are more Jewish than those Jews in my synagogue mm -hmm. uh, with how you live. God made a few miracles here. When we started to sing, I started to sing in Hebrew. I was never learning Hebrew at all in my life. And he just asked me, like, how did you uh, learn Hebrew so well? And I told him, I don't know Hebrew. I have never learned it. <laughs> and he asked me, how you can do it? When you sin, sin, you don't have any 
issues with pronunciation, like you were raised up in Israel. And I didn't understood a word from that song. And there was a, just a cloud of Holy Spirit. There. It was like atmosphere, like in very powerful conference. And that rabbi uh, was a main rabbi, uh, head rabbi of Mexico. Wow. <laughs> And I saw that God is doing something inside of Israel. Mm. And at that time, I've got the word from God. He asked me, do you want to be a part of this process that I'm doing uh, um, inside of Israel? And this process is preparing Israel to the second coming of Messiah. And I told him, like, how I can participate in it. You have asked me to minister in Russia. And he gave me three things. First, you have to pray for Israel. Second, you have to give to Israel. And third, you have to speak in churches in Russia about what do you see in Israel. Not from the politics perspective, but, but these processes, what I'm doing in Israel, among Israel, with the land of Israel, with the people of Israel, with church in Israel. And from 2007, I was just diving deep into the theme of Israel. Mm. And uh, a lot of years passed yeah, from that time. Russia, I was preaching in like ev almost every Israel. city in Russia about, about Israel. And in uh, different topics around it. And uh, 2022 began. As you know, in, in the news, there is a war between Russia and Ukraine. The city where we are living is just in the border with Ukraine. And the uh, war, it's what we see every day. And we do a lot of humanitarian work. And during this hard time, God told me that we have to look towards Israel. And uh, God showed us that we have to start a church in Israel. And our church in Belgrade is not, it is not huge. But God told us to launch a church in Tel Aviv, mm. the most expensive city of the world. <laughs> For example, my salary is $500 as a bishop. <laughs> and it's included like phone, transport, gas, everything. How? With no money you can launch a church in Tel Aviv. And uh, as a Jew, I always had a right to repatriate, to make mm -hmm. Aliyah to Israel. And during the first 10 uh, days in Israel, God gave us a second word. And he told us to launch a network of churches all throughout the Israel. And I was just feeling as Sarah, where, where angel told to Abraham about the son, <laughs> and I'm laughing. <laughs> How I will do that? Yeah. I don't know a language. I don't have rich friends or sponsors or anything. I even deny, refuse to, to continue to receive this small salary in Russia. It was impossible. And God led us here. I started to work here. 
in a ordinary job. I tear down all of my pride and, and I started really low. И я почувствовал все то, and что I чувствует человек, который репатриировался в Израиль. Like mm. Когда я спрашивал, Господи, почему так тяжело? When I asked God, why it's so hard? Он мне сказал, сын мой, когда евреи входили в землю... He told me that, son, when uh, Jews entered the promised land, Каждое колено свой удел должно Every быть tribe should, should be conquered. Mm -hmm. Если бы Бог мне в тот yes. момент сказал, что через год у вас будет самая быстро растущая церковь And в Израиле, мне if, было бы легче. If God had told to me at that time that during one year you will have, be have like fastest growing church in Israel. Но на тот момент But at that time there was no работе, people работе. and just hard work. Не видя ничего впереди. Don't see anything ahead. И потом Бог дал нам план. And then, показал, then God showed us a plan how we will do it. В результате на сегодняшний And день now, у нас открыта церковь в Тель-Авиве. We have a church in Tel Aviv. Официально эта церковь открылась. Officially it, it launched three months ago. Three months ago. Mm -hmm. И мы снимаем чудесный зал. And we rent a great Это place, театра, a theater, mm -hmm. центральной части Тель-Авива. In the center of Tel Aviv. Uh, у нас в центральном, в центре страны самое лучшее служение прославления. In the, in the central part of Israel is the greatest worship team that we have. Uh, у нас каждое служение приходят новые люди. Every service we have a bunch of new people. Mm -hmm. Every time. И все задают вопросы. And everybody asks, like, Pastor, Павлу, to me and to Pavel, how have you done it? И у нас нет ответа. And we don't have an answer. Кроме одного. Only one. Мы просто откликнулись на призыв. We just said yes to the calling. Вся работа, которую я остаюсь епископом в России. I, I, I remain as a bishop uh, in Russia. Служение в Израиле все ведет. Uh, everything in Israel, Pavel does. And he is a pastor. И удивительно, но наша церковь And it's interesting that our church in Russia it grew. И то, что мы откликнулись на призыв Бога и приехали сюда и начали церковь, это только хорошо повлияло на церковь. And uh, we we see great fruit in our church in Belgorod because we said yes and came here. Мы верим, что война закончится. We believe that war will stop soon. Мы приглашаем вашего пастора. And we invite your pastor to our city, to our church. Всю вашу церковь. And all of your church. We are waiting in Tel Aviv. Теперь у вас есть здесь друзья. Now you have friends here. Yes. You know, I want to say, um, earlier we were talking to Bishop Boris, and he was telling us when he began yeah. to first have a heart for Israel, he would go and back to Russia and tell all the churches about Israel, what, yeah. what he saw God was doing. Yeah. And the moment he did that, God blessed his church, and they did more buildings, they grew with more people, And yeah. even in the war, that they're they're literally 20 minutes. They're on the border between Ukraine and Russia. Yeah. Um, they're doing they're doing more for the Lord because they have this yeah. heart for Israel. Yeah. I think it's supernatural what God is yeah. doing. He he's bringing, you know, the Bible says uh, that God says, "I will hiss for them, and they will come yeah. from the nations. They will come and they will return to the land." Yeah. Their last name is Cohen. They have they're from the Levitical tribe, and they're from the priestly tribe of Cohen. And they, I don't think it's by accident. God is bringing the priesthood, the spiritual priesthood and the natural priesthood back to this land um, to usher in the coming uh, of Yeshua, our Messiah. Keep, you know, the Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem yeah. and pray for um, Bishop Boris and, and Pastor Pavel because um, they're the seed of what God is doing in these last yeah. days. We're a part of a miracle, Save the Nations. You're a part of this. This was a yeah. divine connection. We don't believe it's going to be, it's it's by accident. And we believe God is um, knitting us together. Yeah. We have, we, we've we know all the same people. They love Michael French uh, from yeah. uh, all our pastor friends in Russia. And every time we talk about Russia and Ukraine and we haven't been able to go because of the war, here God brought us 
two Russian Ukrainians here in Israel. And like yeah. I say this, you can't make this stuff up. Worlds have collided. Yeah. But it's for such a time as this. Amen. It's for the time for the, the gospel of the kingdom to be proclaimed in all the earth. And it's going to come out of this place. It's going to come yeah. from Jerusalem to Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So, um, yeah. Lord, we just thank you. In fact, in fact, Boris, can you just pray for the people who are watching uh, that they will have this heart that you have, that God gave you this heart? имели вот такое сердце для Израиля, как у тебя. Отец yeah. Небесный, я знаю, Thank что you. ты сегодня обращаешься к церкви. Father, I know that you are telling to the church now. Yes. И ты поворачиваешь лицо церкви к Израилю. About Israel and you turn in its face yes. towards Israel. Это происходит по всему миру. And it's happening all around the world. В разных конфессиях. In different confessions, in yes. different tribes of Christianity. Yes. And it is a sign. Время пришествия the Мессии time приближается. of second coming yes. is really closer than ever. Здесь, в Израиле, Here in Israel, we see процессы, которые происходят processes that are happening yes. inside of Israel. Ты приготовляешь Израиль You are preparing yes. your people to yes. the second coming. Yes. Open your eyes. И у нас есть and we have a privilege as a church of Jesus Christ to have in our part in this job. And I just thank you, God, for our brothers and sisters and that their hearts are towards Israel. You told that you have to ask peace for Jerusalem. Yes. And that people who do this, they will be blessed. Yes. Yes. And I just pray, bless the yes. church. Yes. Bless my brothers and sisters yes. from Israel yes. to America. And that you will keep them that all of their needs will be fulfilled. Yes. That the healing will flow. Yes the peace in their homes and the goodness of, of, yes. of you on their families. I thank you, God, and give you praise in the name of Jesus. Yes, shalom, shalom from Israel. And now we also agree, God, that you would save Russia, the Ukraine, and that you would heal that land and the Amen. war would stop there Amen. as well. We, we declare shalom, shalom, shalom. Amen, amen.